Hey guys, and welcome back to the fourth game in my placement series for Season 11 and my journey to Platinum. Now, as you can see in this game, we are playing Lucian Yumi against a Kaisa Morgana, and you can see that my ping's a little bit higher than it normally is, so um, hopefully that sort of stabilizes a little bit, because playing Lucian with high ping is not exactly very fun, considering all the combos that you sort of have to do. Um, but yeah, we just have to sort of deal with it for now and then hope that it calms down. Um, Yumi is taking a lot of damage there. But, you know, hopefully she'll be able to just back and get it all restored. Um, so it looks like my ping is starting to calm down a little bit, but now it's climbing back. Um, which is very unhelpful. So I'll just ping it and let my team know that it's actually quite high for whatever reason. Just so they are aware of what's going on. Minions have spawned. Um, and I'm just going to sort of chill out around here. Because I don't want to walk into the jungle when they've potentially walked around either. Um, I'll just let them know that I am willing to help out with it. I'm just waiting for them to get in the area. So get Yumi on me. A summoner has disconnected. Okay, well, Echo's DCing, so we will just go into lane and then see if he DCs long enough for us to remake. Long enough for us to remake. A um, doesn't look like he is. It's a little unfortunate considering the ping. That's okay. I would have liked a remake in this situation, but that's okay. So the Kaiser is going to just free push the wave as well with her Q. She actually didn't do a very good job of it though, so we will still manage to keep the push on here. For now at least. Okay. Morgana did start her W, so not too much damage she's able to dish out at the moment. But also, our level 2 in general isn't exactly amazing as Lucian Yumi. Yeah, so, me going in for that, I'm actually just going to flash. I'm going to heal as well. So, we got both of her summoners as well, as well as the Morgana Ignite. Um, but yeah, that did cost us also our summoners too. So, we'll just. Have to stay back now. Because, yeah, Morgana can also just do that. Yumi will sustain us, but we also can't afford to get hit by another binding. So, that was just my bad for that positioning. Um, I should really just position better there. But hey, and Yumi's also very low on mana now. So, she actually can't afford to heal me too much either. But I really do want this cannon. But I missed it anyway. That's very unlucky. And, yeah, <laughs> Kaiser is just going to get a free W on me there as well. Honestly, I would have normally picked Kaiser in this game, because she was available when I had my pick, and I knew that I was with Yumi. But I want to have a variety on the channel, which is sort of why I didn't pick it. And now I'm messing up all the minions. Okay, I did manage to get that one at least. So we're just in a situation now where we just have to play sort of cautious. Which isn't really how Lucian wants to play a lane, but... Yeah, we don't have any sums up and Yumi is very low on mana. So we'll just be a little bit careful here. Because if we get hit by a binding then we're in a lot of trouble. So, Yumi just got destroyed there, unfortunately. No, I'll just stay here behind my minions a little bit. Okay, she didn't actually get tagged by that Q. But I am at least getting solo experience here. Okay. I should have eat forward a little bit more. If I'd eat forward slightly there, then I would have been able to get that. Or at least I would have been able to proc my press the attack. I'm not sure if I would have necessarily been able to get the full kill. But 
chances are I would have because she didn't have heal. So, just a little bit of, again, positioning arrows on my side. and leave here. Um, we unfortunately weren't able to push the wave fast enough, so now it is frozen in there. I should have noticed that earlier, that's my bad. Um, but we will just get a pickaxe and then come back to lane. Um, so the jungler is around there, clearly. Things going off there. We will also grab a control ward and head back to lane. So Malzahar potentially needs to be a little bit careful. Um, my heal is coming up soon, so that means Kaisa's heal is also coming up soon. Needs to be a bit cool. So that Echo is going for a gank around mid lane. Um, but I don't think he's honestly going to be able to get anything. Yeah, so the Vega did flash. And I think, yeah, potentially the Echo did as well. So they traded flashes, which means the flashes will be up at the same time. So we will just trade a lot of damage there on Kaisa. We to get the heal again. Um, we have our heal up still. I don't have my E for a bit. So we'll just let Yumi sustain. Oh. Okay, so I had to do a sword run up to the Kaisa there so that she didn't get free damage on the Yumi. That Morgana binding went really, really far actually. I didn't actually expect it to reach all the way over there. Okay. So overall that was a pretty decent trade there. Okay, and our echo is coming down. But they know. So we'll just Yep, the one is also here. Uh, I really wish you wouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Can't really help that. And now we also have to just leave because Evelyn is probably around. And we're probably gonna have to just flash here, honestly. Yep, we are. Yep, we are just gonna have to flash there. Um, but yeah, we don't have any mana. So. Because they just sort of ran in there, that means that I'm now in an awkward position where I just have to leave again and have the wave in a crappy position again. But we will try and deal with that the best we can. We are ahead by 2 CS, and Kaisa didn't actually get any kills as of yet. Which is good, she's only got the assists. So, at least that's some kind of silver lining. Um, yeah, this Echo is a little bit aggressive so far. Um, wish that he would tone down a little bit on the aggression. Okay, so the Evelyn has gone up into the mid lane. They shouldn't be able to kill Melzaha there. We still don't know where their support is, but Kaisa did just show up here, so. Now, I'm not level 6, so I don't really want to chase that too far. Oh, they did manage to get the evil in there. Oh, and they got the Vega as well. It's amazing. Yeah, we did manage to get a little bit of poke off there on the Kaisa. Once I hit level 6, maybe we can- oh! Oh, okay, so the Kaiser barely lives there. If I'd had one more bullet from my ult hitter, then we would've been fine there. Would've got the kill. That's okay. The good thing is that she at least wasn't 6, because otherwise she could've just come forward and then probably killed us. Or killed me, at least. Okay, don't have the mana for my Q there, unfortunately. We'll just try and get one tower plate and then probably leave. Because, yeah, I'm not 100% sure where the Evelyn is right now. So I will just leave. It's like, oh, Evelyn is up in the top lane, but I also, again, also just still don't have mana, so... But Morgana is going to just check that. So now we have to do we do have to just stick around for a little bit. And now we can't really afford to stick around. Um but we will just be over this way and then try and back here. 
And hopefully a Kaiser W, a stray Kaiser W doesn't hit us. Because that would be absolutely terrible for us. Okay, so we will get our Nunquiver and then start trying to head back to lane. Uh, we are still ahead of Kaiser on CS. And we do have a pickaxe up on her, but she does have boots and a dagger. So she has more attack speed and we just have more flat damage. Um, now, I think the Morgana is potentially roaming up mid. Yep, and there she is. So, at least the Meldahar can be a little bit safe there. I don't have ult for another 4 seconds. Okay, we're just gonna get her heal. Okay. And we are gonna get all those minions as well. Okay, so now we'll just push this in here. And then, as you can see, I am still dealing with the lag, unfortunately. Again, not really too much I can do about that right now. Um, I do have very little mana right now. So we'll try and see if this fruit is up. I'm not sure if the plant will be up, but we can at least check. And no, it's not. Okay. So we're not going to be able to restore any mana there. Um, that is one thing about Lucian, that if you do sort of go in too hard, too fast, you can use a lot of mana. Uh, which I have been doing because I've been trying to put pressure on this Kaiser. Oop, didn't manage to get that cannon minion. And the Evelyn is up near her Raptors, so we will just stand back a little bit. <coughs> Ward this bush over here. And then maybe try and keep a control in this one. Oh, maybe we'll get that. Yeah. So, I am just going to make sure I don't push here because I do want to conserve some mana. And also, pushing up even further will then make it hard for the Malzahar to gank and the Echo to gank, and it will make it easier for the Evelyn to gank. Okay. Not going to be able to get any good thing off there. And we will at least be protected from an Evelyn gank for now. Yeah. So again, just autoing this way where we can to get some sustain and to assist to keep our mana up. I also want to kind of stay close-ish to the Yumi so that she's able to W to me if she needs to. Um, of course, if she gets hit by a Morgana Binding, then that's going to be bad news bears. So, she won't be able to jump to me then because of the CC effects on Yumi. Okay, we are just going to flash out of that. Um, the ping is also making it very hard for me to actually fully 100% understand what's going on there. So we will hope that they can just deal with this Evelyn. Oh, we will all actually get some damage off there. Cool. So just make sure we get an assist there. Kaiser is going to be able to just walk over and potentially get one more plate. Um, but I don't think she's going to stick around. So what we will do here is just build our boots. <coughs> Um, we were 100 gold off of getting our Kraken Slayer, unfortunately. Um, if we'd managed waves or like managed our all ins and stuff a little bit better, then maybe we could have had the gold for it right now. But because we don't, we will just pick up the full boots. Um, we do have the ward there. That Echo is going to just back, so I will go and grab that. Unless Echo is just going to go and take it right now, which he is. Honestly, he should have just backed, but that's okay. So, looking at the farm again, I am still a hidden farm. Just get as much damage off here as we can, which is going to be a decent chunk. Fortunately, I didn't have ult, but I used that to help secure the Evelyn kill before. So, we'll just keep auto attacking this wave, I think, just to conserve mana. Kaiser did use her W over there, so... We can't really go on the Morgana there because we don't have ult. We'll get some damage off from the Kaiser there. 
don't know where the Evelyn is right now, so we do need to be a little bit careful of that. We do have a warden here. So we'll take that. And then maybe try and go and get a ward up here ourselves. Oh, Evelyn. We will just hold over there just to make sure that we don't get jumped on by him. Um, that ult was more of a, deter a deterrent than anything else. We're gonna die for it anyway, because we were still being a little bit greedy. Oh, will Yumi get her? Auto her, Yumi? Oh, that's okay. We need to be very careful of the class of W. She's okay for now. So we'll pick up our Cloak of Agility here. Um, overall just some greedy play from us. So we will try and stop ourselves from doing that again. Um, but our team is getting a lot on the top side as well. And overall we've been pretty, we're doing pretty decently in terms of staying alive. Um, that's been our first death. So overall not too bad considering how the early lane went with me mispositioning and getting... Morgana binded quite early on into the lane because um, honestly that just set us behind a lot and I did actually try and change into cleanse at the end of champ select but I was a little bit too late on doing that um, so I didn't actually manage to get that to go through but we will just keep pushing the lane here um, Yumi hopefully will be walking back to us soon and we'll just get what damage we can off on the tower um, but it looks like we're probably not going to be able to get too much by the time Kaisi gets back yeah We are right in assuming that, so we'll just get a couple of autos off on there with the two of us. Yeah, I don't have ult up at the moment, so I don't really want to try anything too crazy. Um, let them know that I still do have a little bit higher ping than I would like. going to be able to get them there, I don't think. Yep, so Morgana does, just no. Oh, okay, she just insta-died. We'll just hold here to mainly again be a deterrent. Well, that ends well there. And we will just be able to carry on pushing here. Now, also, because I'm lagging, I do also want to just make sure I'm getting as much gold as I can. Um, just so that even if I do get caught out because of the higher thing than normal, that I will have a better chance of surviving still. Oh! Okay, and I managed to get hit by that binding as well. Because I'm just that good, I guess. So we will manage to get the inhib from down here. And we can see if the red buff is up. Which it is not. So we are leaving wards in the jungle. Um, I do kind of want to leave a ward somewhere around here as well. So I will leave mine in here. And good, we can head back to base and get our Kraken Slayer. Okay, so overall not going too terribly, especially considering the lag we have. Obviously I would like to be a little bit more aggressive. But I'm just play, trying to play a little bit cautiously, I suppose is the best way to put it. Um, so we will go for just two of those there, and two control ones. And we should also swap out for a blue trinket before heading back into probably the mid lane. So I'm just ping that I'm on my way there. Let Malzahar know, because generally we are... But then again, Malzahar is not really an amazing split pushing champion. He's better with the team. But a lot of the time you do see a 1-3-1 one, one style thing after lane phase kind of ends where the top laner and the mid laner will split push while the jungler and the bot lane sort of hang around the mid lane area. Um, but it doesn't look like we're sort of really doing that this game. And I do need to be a little bit cautious of Evelyn because I do not know where she is. Um, so I will dump a control ward in here just for now. Take that minion. Get that ward. And then push this 
play that. Okay. And so the Yumi is sticking around with Set down the bot lane. Um, and I don't really want to walk up too far, but the rebuff is coming up soon, so I'll just hang around and try and get that in a second. Looks like Echo is really going for that Vega, <laughs> and he's going to get the flash by the looks of it. So we'll make sure that we get that cannon, and then we will head over to this rebuff. Malzaha, ooh. Okay, that's slain. unlucky there. The dragon's coming up in 30 seconds, so we'll make sure we get this red buff first though. And we do need to head on over to the mid lane again, because they are getting into a fight. Okay, we did manage to get that red buff. I was a little bit concerned for a second there. Okay, we'll get a couple of minions there. to get that Kaisa, and I will be able to get these fruit as well to stick around with the dragon. So the Evelyn is around. But she's not going to try and steal it from us. Now heading into their jungle, the jungle, I will try and take these raptors when they spawn. But it looks like Echo has a similar kind of idea. Evelyn is actually in our jungle though, so these raptors should be pretty free for me. Take these. Dodge out on that binding there. Okay, make sure we get minions where we can. Um, looks like Echo and Yumi are trying to do something over there, but I don't really want to. So I'm just going to stay away from it now and just get farm. Again, we don't really 100% know where the Evelyn is, so just erring on the side of erring on the side of caution here. There's not really a heck of a lot else for me to buy right, um, for me to do right now, so I will just go back and get core fields and then probably a sheen, and then head back into the lane. Okay, so taking a look at what's going around, we have pushing waves in all of our lanes, um, so it looks like we need to try and get some vision set up around the Baron, um, which is what my team is sort of looking to do right now. So let them know I have control. What up? We've managed to find the Evelyn. And we will manage to hopefully kill her. Oh, she's going to flash over this way. It doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to get her immediately. Oh, okay, we will be able to get her. I did heal on full health, but I thought that she would do a little bit of damage to me quicker than she did. Um, so I was just mainly healing for safety there, expecting her to dish out damage quicker. But luckily she wasn't able to. Um, but it was also a waste of a flash. So we will just go for this tower here. Okay, the leg's not helping me here. We'll get that, and then we will dip into their red buff. Try and get that. Because I don't think my team's going to be able to push for anything up there anyway, so I might as well take this. And I will be able to clear out this vision as well. And then I will make it my way up to the raptors. And we'll get the big one as well, we'll take that away from the set. Um, so I can go back and get my um, Essence Reaver now as well. And then start to start building towards my infinity edge probably. So that is what we will look to do. Now we'll get the quick click and we will grab another control ward. Um, I've been doing a lot better at placing the control wards this game, I feel like. Maybe not perfectly, but definitely better than I usually do. So good job to me. Good job to me for that, I suppose. Um, and we will make sure we get some more farm over here with the wolves, because nothing is really happening too much at the moment. They did manage to get a kill on the Kaiser, And it looks like Set is pushing in the bot lane. So I'm going to ping this and then ping the Baron. Just to let them know what I'm thinking. Oh, Evelyn is around there. So we need to red buff, I mean, red ward that. And we will just 
so make sure that we pop that blast cone. Just so that she's not able to jump over. So we have found her over there. Um, she shouldn't honestly be able to get out of this. As long as Echo and Yumi pincer her. Yep, and she's over there somewhere. Yep, and she's just heading into the tower. Um, so Echo should maybe be able to catch up with her. But I'm not going to even bother trying to catch up with her there. Because there's no point. So we will head into mid lane and see if we can get the farm. So they did manage to get the kill on her, which is good. Okay, we'll get the farm there. Red buff is also up in 5 seconds. We're just over. So we'll grab that as well. I fired my W over a little bit too early, but that's okay. Just dash over the wall into the ground pit. Now, yeah, will Kaisa decide to jump to this and suicide? No? Okay. So we will run over to the um, dragon now as well. And we will also do all that. So now we know where the Aatrox is. But we also don't have any wards up at the moment. So we can't befriend her. Okay, we'll just go immediately for this dragon here. So we can secure that without the Evelyn getting in our way. And we will also take the Scuttle Crab and the Grom as well. Just to make sure that we are keeping up on farm as best we can. And we will also go for the wolves, I think. Okay. And we're all back here with just under 1500 gold. And get our BF sword. And we will head back out into the lane now. But it looks like they're winning the fight anyway without me. Um, this is just sort of a stompy game where my entire team is very much ahead, especially the Echo being 15 and 3. Um, and he's just able to chase after the Kaiser and everything, so... Yeah, we can honestly probably just make a nice push down the mid lane here. And um, we do have to be careful of this Evelyn coming up from behind us. Because she will... No doubt be able to kill us. Okay, she's going to jump over that side, but now I have to run over here. So she did get both of my summoners there. We'll see if the blue buff is up, which it is. She might be walking over here, but she also might be going towards her base to protect it. So we will just run up over here. And we did manage to get her ult as well. So, and Kaisa's just going to stand in the middle of our towers over there, so she's not really someone we need to go and worry about. She's obviously very, very tilted at this point. So at least we managed to survive the evil in there. Um, but yeah, overall we didn't really do too much this game, we mainly just got carried. But we did manage to just survive in most situations. And we did also get the 50 gold at the end there. Just do a little dance for everyone at the end of the Nexus exploding. Okay, so we did manage to win that game, which is good. Um, but yeah, we didn't end up doing too much ourselves. We will obviously give the honor to the Echo because of how much he carried. Yumi did obviously help. But yeah, the Echo was the main carry throughout that game, obviously, so big props to him. And yeah, everyone basically honored the Echo, so that's all good. Um, taking a look at the quick, taking a look at the graphs quickly, we did out damage everyone except for the Evelyn on their team. Um, but obviously the Echo, the set, and the Melzahar did a lot more damage than us as well. So yeah, as I said, not really a carry performance on our side, but we did do what we needed to do, um, especially with the ping that we were presented with, um, which may not seem like a lot to a lot of people being 70 or 68 or whatever, but that is about four times what I normally get. So it is a wee bit of a adjustment to try and play a combo-based eddy carry with that kind of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to leave a like and a subscribe if you did. And I hope you guys will tune in next time and enjoy the next video as well. Catch you later.